Hey everyone, Jenny here. Welcome back to my channel. I am in a different location today. I am in my kitchen. Okay, that's right. That's going to close. Um, I'm sitting in my kitchen because in front of me, you can't see it, but I'm staring right at it on my kitchen table. I have all of my unread books. I thought it'd just be kind of interesting to show you guys all the books that I own that I haven't read. There's over a hundred of them. I don't know the exact number, but I counted to a hundred and I was like, that's a lot of unread books. Anyways, we should just get to it. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how many of you are going to be interested in this, but we can see. There's a good mixture of young adult, adult, uh, yeah, there's a good in middle grade in here. I think most... I don't, I don't even know what the majority is. So let's just get to it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them when I, oh, oh, let's just get to it. Okay. What stack should I start with? <laughs> it's overwhelming. Which stack? Okay, let's start with the stack. Okay. Um, I, Forgiveness by Jean, Jean Brasher. Then I have a Supernatural book. The Unholy Curse by Joe Schreiber. I was really into Supernatural, so I got a bunch of books. I was really into Harlequin Romance novels, too, at one point. Um, Kimberly Ray, the Brad, the Braddock Boys, Brent. Oh, this is a Harlequin Blaze. That means it's extra sexy. <laughs> That's actually what it means. Um, Her Baby Dreams, Deborah Clompton. Okay. Robin Donald, The Golden Mask. I am telling you, I was, the, I was on a Harlequin kick one year. Nicola Marsh, girl in a vintage dress. I almost thought that said a virgin dress. Oh, Timothy of the K by Theodore Taylor. I read the K when I was in sixth grade. I never read that. I've owned, I've had this book for a while and I still haven't read it. A Dog's Purpose, W. Bruce Cameron. Neil Gaiman, Stardust. I bought that when Borders is going out of business. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I might dump that sooner or later. Oh, then we have the books I bought yesterday. <laughs> Did I, oh, I didn't bring the book I'm currently reading. Oh, well, I'll get that in a minute. Um, Three Dark Crowns by Kendora. Kendara Blake. Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. That's all the books I got. Oh, that's not all the books I got yesterday. I got one more. But it's not over in that pile. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Tosh Hart's Tolstoy. I I forget who wrote it. It's popular enough. You guys know who wrote it. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Julia Quinn, The Secrets of Sir R Richard Kentworth. Kenworth. Oh, hey, middle grade book. Princess of the Silver Wood by Jessica Day George. I got them, these books for a while ago. 1984 by George o Orwell. I bought that like after Trump became president because I was like, hey. The Siren by Kira Cass. Uh, uh, Travel Team by Mike Lupeka. Sounded interesting. Amanda Quick, The Third Circle. Bram Stroker, Dracula. Jodie Picoult, Plain Truth. I've only ever read one of her books. Can I pick this book up, please? Thank you. Blocked of White Raven by Elizabeth Lynn. I'm sad this book got wet. Oh, well. Ooh. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. My Sister Rosa by Justine Lar Balsteer. Okay, come on, book. Um, Season Storm by Lee Bardugo. Like, you're not throwing your books this video because I'm not in my living room. Like, that's where I throw my books. <laughs> like, why do you throw your books? Because it's easy. 
Wow, these piles are already getting messed up. Okay, let's start over here. Mr. Caverdash, I presume, by Julia Quinn. I didn't know I owned two different books. Sunlight and Shadow by Cameron Doki. I just got rid of a bunch of these books. Actually, I haven't. I will get rid of them tomorrow. Um, I've just unhauled a bunch of these books. And this is like the one out of the pile that I had read that I wanted to keep and read. Supernatural Witches Canyon by Jeff Mar Maradi. Bad at name pronunciation. Your House or Mine by Cynthia Thompson. I'm telling you, I was on a Harlequin kick. Liz Fielding, Tempted by Trouble. Mariah, Myrna McKenzie, To Wet a Rancher. Oh, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I got that one. Borders has gone to business. Mercedes Lackey, The Snow Queen. A Subtle Knife. Fern Michaels, The Guest List. Well, it's The Guest List by Fern Michaels. Walk Two Moons by Sharon Creech. I've owned this book since I was in the fifth grade and I still have not read it. Whoops. Janie Face to Face by Carolyn B. Cooney. Ooh. What happened to Janie by Carolyn B. Cooney? Ooh. The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. Last Star Burning by Caitlin Sangster. Call of the Wild by Jack London. I'm not. I need to finish that. I got bored with it. Requiem by Lauren Oliver. Woo. Iron King by Julie Kagawa. Dear America. The Diary of Piper Davis, The Fences Between Us, Seattle, Washington, 1941, Kirby Larson, The Song of the Wonder by Bruce Colby, I've owned this book since I was in the fifth grade again, Lost Hero, Rick Riordan, see not reading my books is something that's not new. A Doctor Who book by Dark Horizons, Jenny T. Colgan. A Shaper by Maggie Seawater. Ripper by Stefan Petrosha. I probably mispronounced that. What Jenny found, Whistles on the Radio. Where is the first book in this series? It's somewhere. I put them all for like a they were each one of them were like a dollar. I got it all for like five or six dollars. Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving and other short stories. Stories. <laughs> the Maze Runner by James Dashner. Hey, it's the book I bought at the dollar store the other day. The Peach Keeper by Sarah Addison Allen. Yes, you can actually find really good books at the dollar store. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I owned that book for a while and I still haven't read it. I'm moving this because I can't. So I'm going to reach it. The House of Furies by Madeline Rowe. Okay. 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 The Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. Sarah Carvin. Tower of Shadows. Oh, this is a postcard from Europe. How the Quinn that means it takes place in another country. Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. Wind Calls the Heart by Jeanette Oak. Mary Bloody Mary by Carolyn Meyer. I own. I need to like stop buying books and just read the ones I have. Blissful Images by Nora Roberts. Emma Darcy, a wedding to remember. I like bought a bunch of vintage Emma um, Harlequin books because I found them when I was at the books the because uh, the bookstore doesn't take them because I don't know. Baby by contract, Deborah Salonen, Black Beauty by Anne Sewell, another Harlequin postcards. Sandra Martin, A Roman Springs. People 
are walking by. Mary Blau, the arrangement. I need to like have a romance month or something. Catching Stars by Kayla Keenan. I need to like just read all the oh. Sky of the Deep by Adrian Young. Oh my god. Seriously, that's where that book is. Uh Alexander Hamilton, the biography by Ron Cheer now. I need to like make a plan to read that because it's over seven hundred pages. I need to like figure out some way to actually organize to read it. Okay. Oh, that's gonna fall. Okay. Hold on. Because I have way into my staring at my wall. I have way too many books. Lauren Carl Conrad, LA Candy. Amanda Quick, the girl who knew too much. Madeline the Anger Wrinkle in Time. The Last Magician, Lisa Maxwell. I'm sorry, people of the internet, for staring at my wall. Ugh. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. Piper Parish by Kayla Kagan. Labyrinth of the Lost by Zordeva. Cordova. Okay. Hold on. There's like no good way to do this. The French Gardener by Santa Montefiero. I found a plane ticket on that. That was weird. Um, New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. Radiance of Tomorrow by Ishmael Bay. Um, Ishmael Bay. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. I actually started reading that and then I bought another book and I started reading that instead. Because that's how, what I do. How Not to Find a Boyfriend by Allison Valentine. Valentine. All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. There's a story behind how I got that. Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. There's a story. Oh, I got a few of these books. I'm sorry, I'm like grabbing four at a time. Ugh. Ugh. Gun with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. <laughs> Why did I buy that? Mismatch by Lauren Laura Lynn McGee. Another dollar for a book. Total War Rome and Destroy Carthage by David Gibbons. I don't know what I was thinking. Rosemary Rogers, The Wildest Heart. Go down there. But wait, there's more. I have an actual problem. A Wind in the Door by Madeline Lang. Oriental mythology that I never once opened. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> the White Princess by Philippa Gregory. Again, I don't know why I bought it. Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. I, st I have not read that. I've had that for years. Sarah Dessen, The Saint Anything. This is The Sandcastle Empire by, I think, Kayla Olson. I don't know. But wait, there's more. I have like three more, four more stacks. Three more stacks after this. Sarah Dessen, The Moon, and more. I'm trying to figure out where to put them. Ah! Whoops. Letters from Home by Christina McMorris. The Boy on Cinnamon Street by Phoebe Stone. Flunked by Jen Cal Otina. Borrowed Children by George Ella Lyon. That sounded interesting. Oh, there's the first book, The Face in the Milk Curtain by Carolyn B. Cooney. That book got wrecked. But wait, 
There's more. My last impress by Da Chin. Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Cheraporta Pora and Danielle Clayton. Winter by Marissa Meyer. I started reading this and then like I gave up. 800 pages. But wait. There's more. A Dash of Magic. Bliss. And Bite Size Magic by Catherine Littlewood. War Woman, War Bringer by Lee Bardugo. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because I'm reorganizing all of my unread books. But wait, there's more. Trials of Apollo, The Dark Prophecy, Edward Ferdinand, The Glass Spare by Laura De Stefano, Now I Rise by Christine White, Chris, Kirsten White. I can say names. Heart of Iron by Ashley Austin. Half of you are like, where are those book dust jackets? Somewhere in my house. Fifteen Love, Nicole Lay Shepherd. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Land of the Ten Thousand Madonnas by I don't know who. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dorr. But wait. <laughs> There's more. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark, Mark Twain. I don't know why I thought that. Confessions from the Principal's Chair by Someone Myers. Ash by Melinda Lowe. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I need to make a serious plan. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Sharon Cameron's Rook. Merlin's Heart by Anne Elliot Crompton. The Dreadful Tale of Tale of Prosper Redding by I Forget Who. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. Ooh. Okay. Magnus Chase and the Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan, Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Addy Addy and May. The Defiant by Leslie Livingston. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Harry Ma Manistalco. Ugh. Ugh. There's more. Amanda Quick, The Ripper Knows. Supernatural, War of the Suns by Repa I don't know. Rebecca Deerstein and David Reed. Mary Marilyn Lennox, Misty and the Single Dad. Supernatural Nevermore by Keith R. A. De Sandino. The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. Melissa McClone, Not So Perfect Princess. Marissa Meyer, Renegades. Ooh, it fell. Oh, it fell. Okay, after this, I swear there's one more pile. The Redemption of Rico de Angelo. Michelle Douglas. The Silver Terror in the Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. I don't know why I haven't read them. The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. 30 Guys in 30 Days by Michael Ostow. So In Love by Catherine Clark. I got some of those ones. What We Saw by Aaron Hart. Hart Stoller. Spare and Found Parts by Sarah Mar Maria Griffin. The Fortune Hunter by Daisy Goodwin. There's one more pile, I swear to God. Okay, after this, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books after this little pile. Something. Acceptable Time and Many Winters. A Swiftly Tilting Planet by Madeline Langle. I don't know how you... I don't know how to say names. 
Full Cicada Moon by Marilyn Hilton. Oh! Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. Becoming Jin by Laurie Goldstein. Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shutler. Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. Rebel <laughs> Rebels Rising by Shauna Swinston. Huntress by Mel Melinda Lowe. The Help by Car Catherine Stock Stockett. Hold on. Two more books. One book I'm currently reading, the other that's just sitting there. Hamilton the Revolution, which is that fancy book that costs like $30, and then Hamilton, comma, Revolutionary by, uh, what's ever her face is, which is a less extensive biography than the Ron Chirino one. Anyway.